Hello. Hi. Welcome back to EGL Treats. I'm Oriana. I'm Allegra. And we are super happy to be back with another panel for you guys, or some major theme this mm -hmm. time. Yes. So before we get started, we're gonna give people a couple minutes to start joining the joining the stream. We got started so, a little early, so we're gonna take it nice and chill. So, so I guess we'll talk about our coordinates before we start getting into um, our dates. Yes, we went with a uh, moon and star celestial type vibe this time. Yes. Mm -hmm. He's a star prince and I'm a moon maiden. Yes. <laughs> Let's see what we got on. Uh, this is our this series. This is our series, beloved our series. Yeah. The portrait of Artemis. Yep. And uh, I have this awesome OG set from Sika. Nice cowbell brand. And you're wearing the waist tie. Oh, yes. Dress. This is actually this the, is the, the waist tie is from the dress. Just stole it for my own OG purposes. purposes. Yes. Yep. 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 And. Uh, the brooch is from an Etsy mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, it's a, a cool photographer who does like nature photography and makes their stuff into brooches. Mm -hmm. um, I forget the name, but maybe I will tag it. Uh, some yeah. Russian. Yeah, some Russian person. It's, yeah, it's very cool. Yeah. The brooch is really nice. Yeah. Star little... earrings. And I have moon earrings you probably can't see. <laughs> yeah, little moons. Yeah. And we can show our decorations too. We did our best with the bear theme. We have this lovely bear. She married a bear art piece. Bears. Bears, bears. More bears. Yeah. Little honey bears. Yes. 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 Oh, this is the private chat. Wait, let's click over to the comments. Oh, there oh, is there everybody. We okay, Hello. now we can see We things. were in the private chat. I was like, where is everybody? Where is everybody? in the comments room? There is everybody. Y'all are too much. Hi. Can we see your point? Yes. I don't know. Can we back can up? We, can we back up sufficiently? <laughs> 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 we'll post pictures later too. We got some yeah, stuff before this we did started. Yeah, we a photo shoot before. So here we are. Yes, we were watching the J Fashion Aunties right before this, and we took some pictures for Hi, Aria. Aria. Uh, we're oh. glad to see people joining on. We'll give it another minute or so Making before we duos. get into stuff. Yes, that's us. Yeah, we got one more yeah. minute. We took a whole hour and a half for this one so that we can take you guys through everything. Yes, and a nice loser. So we have two cameras this time. I know, we tried to be oh. more high tech for you. Oh my goodness, wait, can <laughs> so we? So we can get the camera. Oh, wow. there it is. <laughs> two the cameras. technology. So hopefully this time we don't have to move the camera as much and I won't accidentally exit out of the stream like I did last time. <laughs> we're, we're trying to keep <laughs> it real smooth. Yeah, we're high tech now. Like, watch out. It's like Avatar over here. And James Cameron, who? And by that I mean I let Allegra do things because I'm terrified of yes. to switching any camera. So the lovely this, Allegra will handle this. Not I will I will stay away from that. Happy, but you know, we love her anyway. Camera's time two for Ursa Major 2. That's right. That's right. Okay, so it's All right, 5 it's 545. So let's get started. So I'm gonna switch over to a slideshow that we have. Mm -hmm. So this event's theme is EGL Treats, Celestial Mochi Donuts, and Crepes de Kuma. Yes. Yay. So before we get started, we wanted to give a quick shout out to our charities this time around. We have uh, Ursa Majors charity is going to be open until Monday. Um, if you want to look into that, it is a great charity for STEM resources for underserved students and teachers. Really good cause. Uh, open until Monday again. Yeah. Um, and then our crepes are actually going to be styled after a really beloved meetup spot for the Bay Area here mm -hmm. in our local Japan town, and that is Belly Good. Um, and Belly Good has their own GoFundMe going on for a chef and friend of theirs um, who's prominent in the Japan town and J J Japanese <laughs> cuisine so of culinary San to help him and his family out in a tough time right now. Yeah. So please take a look at that too. That info is um, both on our EGL Treats posts and also on Bay Area's, um, Bay Area K's uh, posts and also on their website. Yeah. Okay. So let's start by talking about what we're going to be making today. Yes. So we have uh, our crepes and our donuts. So for our crepes, again, an homage to the beloved Belly Good. Um, so we're going to have crepes and ice cream with our Prince Bear is the little green one and our king bear. So two options for decorations, two options for how involved you want this to be, but both yes. are really easy and really fun. Mm -hmm. um, so the flavors we have for our crepes, we have matcha and strawberry in the prince bear, and hazelnut and hojicha, hojicha ice for our king bear. And this is another Bay Area shout out. Actually, the hojicha ice cream is from Fuji Time, another beloved favorite that we luckily have a resource and have a location like yes. 15 minutes away from yeah, us. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know that they were Bay Area. Um, 
well, it's centrally located. So yeah. That's really awesome. Yep. Yeah. Yep. And then for our next treat, we're going to be making space ube mochi donuts which are gluten-free because yep. they're made with mochiko, which is mochi rice flour, mm -hmm. um, some ube jam and ube extract. They have a really nice, chewy, pillowy, soft um, consistency. And then we're going to decorate that with some galaxy-themed icing. Yep. And then pro tip for the uh, ube ingredients, um, you want to try to find an Asian grocery store that has more Filipino uh, targeted ingredients. Mm -hmm. um, you'll be more likely to find your ube extract and your ube jam yeah. um, and those sorts of things. Yeah, we went we're we're really spoiled here in the Bay Area. Southeast Asian grocery store. Yeah, it's like we have a Southeast Asian grocery store and then we have a 99 Ranch. Mm -hmm. and there's, we, have, we have a lot of grocery, grocery options grocery here in store. the Bay. Yeah. So we, yeah. But any flavors that you have on hand, any flavors of ice cream that you have on mm -hmm. hand, mm -hmm. it's whatever you good. prefer, go for it. All right. So we're gonna get started. Oh, tools. tools. Yes. You're going to need a blender for your crepe batter, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. a, a non-stick non -stick pan. Listen, for your this crepes, is, you really want a non-stick really non pan, pan or else your world's gonna be in a world it's of gonna hurt. It's gonna be more difficult for you. Yeah. Yes. Um, a heat press spatula to flip your crepes. Piping bags and tips, which is optional, just adds a nice finish to your, to your bake. An ice cream scoop, again, this is also optional, but mm -hmm. if you wanna get a really nice round bare head shape, Mm -hmm. then a scoop is really going to help you out there. Measuring, Measuring cups, cups, mixing bowls. Mixing bowls. We have, let's see where we put it, this really cute star bowl that was an impulse buy from Daiso yep. that we are now putting to good use. So it is yeah. no longer just impulsive. It's, it serves a purpose now. And, and, and a good old whisk. Okay. Yes. So, so we're going to start with our donuts. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to go ahead and switch over. So I'm going to talk you guys oh. through this. So I will switch over to the phone camera. Da, da, da. So I'm going to take my big bowl and I'm going to start putting together my dry ingredients. So here I have, this is our mochiko rice flour. We're going to start with our donuts because we want to get those in the oven and cooled off so we can glaze them when they're all cooled off. And we have our oven preheated to 350, so that's all ready to go. Yes. And our salt and our baking powder. So all of our dry ingredients we put in here and give that a stir. Ta-da, I'm gonna set that aside. And then in our smaller bowl, we're gonna do all of our wet ingredients. So for our wets, I've got sugar, six tablespoons. Is anybody going through the amounts as we're doing this? <laughs> sure, if you want, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I don't remember how much though. Six tablespoons. Here, let me, uh, I think this is half cup of milk. For this one, we decided to use evaporated milk because it adds a really nice flavor. It has it those makes nice it caramel notes more to rich, it. more caramelly. Um, oh, I've been waiting for this all week, yay! <laughs> yes, yes, someone says, we're gonna protect the wrist cuffs. We, trust me, we're, we're gonna look out for the clothes. We're seasoned veterans, but yes, it is nice. I might take them off when I um, pan these that's where things get a little goopy, <laughs> right? So I'm gonna give that a whisk. I'm going to, these have two egg yolks right here, which is gonna help everything bind together and just add more depth to the flavor and they give it a really rich flavor, thank you. And lastly, our melted butter, actually not lastly, we have melted butter, two tablespoons. And that's melted and slightly cooled. So I'm trying not to add that super hot or you might cook you your eggs a little. Cook, you don't wanna cook your eggs, no. Someone says, okay, to be honest, I'm very worried about the wrist cuffs. We promise no damage will be done to wrist cuffs. No. These were like $5 from Taobao, so it's not the end of the world. But they are actually really nice. They are cute. Um, okay. And then, lastly, into our wet ingredients, we're going to add our ube jam. This is two tablespoons again. I'm going to pop that in there. Give that a stir. Now a heads up here too that um, the ube extract that we ended up finding and using is this McCormick one. Mm -hmm. um, really great flavor, but it already comes with its own purple color yeah. in it. So with just the jam, you it does it's not very purple. Right. So that's why we add the ube extract with purple coloring and this stuff is you have you should be careful with it because it does stain. it's a strong purple. i mean it won't stain stain but like my fingers have, were purple after i use this so just just be, 
be careful. It'll come out. It's just gonna need It'll a few washes. It'll just need a few washes. Like you get like hair dye on your, you know, face or whatever. It's kind of like that. Yeah. All right. So let me take. Now the, that I've dirty the... both of our stitches. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I'll give that a stir, and we're gonna get a really lovely, really deep purple color. Now I'm going to add our wet ingredients to our dry and give that a nice stir. And then our batter is going to be all ready to go. Very simple recipe. Yeah, I love how easy this one is. And foolproof. Even the first time we made it from the recipe we referenced online, it came out perfectly. We didn't have to make no any tweaks or any adjustments. Really, really easy, really friendly recipe for any bakers. Okay. All right, so here we have our completed batter. And oh, I'm gonna take our star mold and I'm gonna put it on a sheet pan. This is just gonna help me maneuver it because it's wobbly, right? So I don't wanna pick it, you know, this up and have it wobble everywhere when I'm trying to get it into the oven. So I'm gonna put this here. I will remove my wrist cuffs <laughs> so nobody panic. Thank you. <laughs> and this, instead of greasing at the beginning, you want to grease right before you pan. Because we're using silicone, the, the oil is going to fall down the sides. So we want to grease it right before we're about to pan. So everything, so it, the, the oil will stay up on the sides and help everything stop from sticking. Or as you close either to this. I'm, I'm free, free from the panic. panic. Oh, yes. Also, Aria Makov saying, she says, every panel that I need to attempt, I never actually do, but maybe one day I will. Yeah, this is, listen, if you want to do something, this is really, really good. Okay. It's delicious. So I have it sprayed, da da da, and I'm going to put this down in the sink. And I'm going to take a spatula and just, let's move a little closer, shall we? Hello. <laughs> Pan these. And since we have a little hole in the middle for our donut, the batter is gonna get on the little uh, insidey bit, but don't worry about that too much. It should still bake all fine and come out fine. So don't worry about that too much. So, and also for these, because they don't rise as much, you wanna go ahead and fill them up all the way to go. the edge. I know I'm left handed, so I'm like, let me just put my hand in front of it. Um, you want to fill it up right to the edge and it will puff out just a little bit but not not nearly as much as something with your traditional kind of baking soda um baking powder kind of situation so about that much all the way to the edge maybe just a little bit under and i'm going to go ahead and fill up the rest of these oh we can take it so we can go i'm going to move it we can take our time we can take our time like last time we had an hour and a half and we thought we had enough time, but we were like racing to the finish. We were, we're well prepped this time. We're gonna, we're gonna smoothly go through everything. <laughs> you say that now. Don't <laughs> say that now. It. Don't jinx it. <laughs> this sentiment says, this is like one of the few I'm not doing second floor, so I could have. Well, you know, there's always the future. Yes. No deep fryer. No, this is going to no, be a baked donut. Oven. Yeah, it's a baked donut. Yeah, because it's a batter for this one. Um, yeah. There are other types of mochi donuts that, if you've seen, they're like um, little ring donuts. They're they like have like little circles little balls. all together. Yeah, and baked. That is a dough, so that's it's different. You want to fry batter. that. This one, nice and super easy. It's mm -hmm. just going to go in the oven. Yeah, you don't need a fry or anything like that. It's really easy to do at home. Yeah, frying is is not so difficult as it is just really messy <laughs> yes yes plus it's always a pain to have all the frying oil left over right afterwards. and then you don't know what to do with it and then it's not as great to use again and all that yeah it's just a pain it feels like kind of like a waste of oil someone says that mold is so cute i need to get one yeah it was yeah, like five daiso. bucks at daiso yeah. honestly i get so much of my my baking stuff just impulse purchases few, wandering into daiso quite a few daiso baking purchases Comes with, oh no, I'm scared of frying, not gonna lie. Bake sounds safer. Yeah, it's definitely, yeah. Start with, with baked donuts, and when you feel comfortable, you can move on, move on to, to frying. frying. I wonder if you could probably air fry these too. 
Probably, yeah, if you had big enough air fryer. Weren't you telling me that an air fryer is basically just a tiny oven? Yeah, basically. <laughs> it's basically just dehydrating stuff. Yeah. But the texture of these is so good. It's so, it's really good. Very, very squishy and chewy, but also it's not dense either. Yeah, yeah it's really, so really perfect really balance. Nice, really nice texture. And the other day we ac I accidentally made them, let me take responsibility here. <laughs> I accidentally made them without any sugar. And they actually turned out like delicious. Yeah, they were really good. They tasted like you know when you're at a uh, Thai restaurant and you get the um, the um, sweet sweet rice with mango. Um, it tasted like that, like just really glutinous rice, slightly sweet. All the the sweetness was coming from the the rice flour itself. Mm -hmm. and, and the icing is the perfect topping. And the for icing it. adds that's a really nice. Touch. So if you're not really a fan of anything too too sweet. You could even just take the sugar out, and they'll, or if you're or if you're sensitive to sugars, you can just take the sugar out, and you'll still get a really really delicious. Because um, you'll get a bit of sweetness too from the ube jam as well. Yep. Oh, you got you oh, got no. <laughs> What happens when I don't look? Okay, we have this is what the, this is what the grease is in. for. It's fine. Um, yeah. So that was actually a, a pleasant surprise. Yes, sometimes less is more. I agree. I agree. Yes. All right. We don't have enough to fill up. Well, wait. There we go. Yeah, that makes sense. Good. What I meant to say. And yeah, this stuff's just gonna flake off in the deep pan. Um, okay, looking good. I'm going to. I'll take that one. Okay. We're gonna get these in the oven. So we're gonna bake these from anywhere from 16 to 35 minutes. I know that's a really big time range, but it's gonna depend on how big your donut is, how big a mold you're using, or how small a mold you're using, and how hot your oven is, and all that kind of stuff. What the material you're using. Yes. Silicon one is gonna bake faster, faster than a metal, than a metal one, one, or a glass it, one even. Because it conducts heat better, or faster. Um, so I'm gonna put these in a 350 degree oven for 16 minutes. I'm gonna put it in for eight minutes, and then I'm gonna rotate it, and then when it's about, when there's about like three to two minutes left, I'm gonna check it. And what you want to look for is when you poke it with your um, toothpick or whatever kind of test cake, tester. cake tester, you want it to still come out slightly crummy because that's going to mean your inside is going to still be really nice and, and chewy soft. You don't want it to come out clean. So just be looking for that. Um, yeah, so I'm going to pop these in our oven and then Oriana's going to take it over and start on the crepes. Okay. So let me see here. For our crepes, we are going to get our blender out. So anyone who has seen our previous panels, you know I love a food processor. Today we're going to use the food processor's cousin. You could see my bare feet. Oh my god! Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> well, hey, you can also see the print of the skirt. We're at home. We're comfy. <laughs> so we have our blender that we're getting out. Mm -hmm. I'm going to switch back to the phone. So you can be nice and close yes. up so the people can see. Can okay. See. So you can see my laptop movies. over here. Hello. We have scale. Those look so cute with the color. Are you talking about the, the donut? Yes, the purple is really fun. It's really, really good. Again, if you get the McCormick, it already comes with color, so don't need to add Yeah, more. don't need Otherwise, to add one, yeah. Find some food coloring, some gel coloring even is great. Yeah, Rosie Posey 13 says, God, I love being a Luda, getting to embrace crepes and donuts and other cute foods like this. Yes, yeah. we, were, we were really excited about doing the crepes, and then I was like, what if we did stop? And then we had to see, like, is it going to be feasible within the time limit? Yeah, yeah, I'll let you, I'll let you do this. <laughs> okay, so for your crepes, we're going to put all of our liquid ingredients in first. Let me pull up my... My oh, they're over there on the table. Okay. My puffs and time out. <laughs> so our first thing, we have a half a cup of water, so that's going to go in. And you want to do your liquids first instead of your your dry. Yeah, it's going to give you a buffer so that you have uh, not the flour just clumping at the bottom of yeah, your blender. Yeah, it might get stuck underneath the blades and you don't want that. So then we have three-fourths of a cup of whole milk. And then I'm going to go ahead and add, we have two and a half tablespoons of sugar. I'm going to add this now just to get it dissolving a little bit. And if you want to do savory crepes, you can leave the sugar out, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. And then we're going to add some vanilla extract. If you're going to do savory, just leave out your sugar and, and your, your vanilla. vanilla. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What? <laughs> okay. And then the last things are structural ingredients, the eggs. 
So we are going to blend together all of our liquids really quick, just a few pulses. How so everything combined more smoothly. Yeah, and then we'll go ahead and add our flour and our butter are the remaining ingredients. Just a reminder, we also have a gluten-free and vegan versions of these recipes on the EGL uh, Bay Area K website under our panel page. So if you're someone who uh, has needs those, has needs. different dietary needs, Please check those out those options are there for you. And we haven't tried, I shouldn't say we haven't tried the recipe out, but if you end up making those or you really want to see what your experience was like so we can hopefully troubleshoot and troubleshoot, share, and so help things be easier for people in the future. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and give these ingredients just like a few pulses. Just to bring that together. And now the two ingredients we have left are we have our flour and butter, again, melted, but cool so we're not shocking our eggs. I'm going to add the flour first so that there is more of a buffer um, between the butter and the eggs and also and um, Liliana graciously linked the recipe and ingredients for these bakes so go ahead and check that out if you haven't already. Yes. So now we're adding in that butter and that's also just going to help break that flour down into there a little bit. You wanna add the butter towards the end to give it a buffer between the butter and the eggs so your eggs, again, don't cook. Right. Okay, so don't be batter. You also don't wanna blend for too long. Mm -hmm. So this is just gonna be uh, about like six seconds or so that we're gonna blend this. Yeah. And now stop. I'm gonna take a second here and scrape down the sides. To make sure that there's no flour clumps and that everything is worked in. Mm -hmm. If you do find that you have any flour or egg clumps, don't worry, we're gonna sift this batter anyways. Yes. It's not a big deal. Yeah. But this is just due diligence. Yes. Emily M Emily Mika says, ooh, vegan version. Yeah, mm -hmm. we haven't tried it yet, but um <laughs> Okay, so that's it. Crate batter also <laughs> super, Done. super easy. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to take this, and for extra assurance, I am going to sift it into a bowl here. Sieve you. Sieve. Yes. Sieve it into a bowl. It's strange how you have different words for dry and wet. Yeah. Sift and sieve. I got this food processor. I'm going to go ahead and see. I wonder if they have the same uh, I wonder same if they word. were the same at one point. And then, like, anyway, sorry. I'm a linguistics major. This is what happens to me. <laughs> So it looks like we have a nice, smooth. I don't know where I'm going here. with this blood work, so I do just oh. come down somewhere. Like every, whenever we do these panels, we have a pretty tiny apartment, so whenever we do these panels, like every surface gets covered in Oh yeah, supplies. every surface is utilized. Yes. There's a lot of sin uh -huh. behind the camera. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so see again, we have a few little clumps and things here. That's fine, just wanna keep those out. Oh. Okay, now the trick with crepe batter also is that you need to let it rest. Yes. So you need to let it rest in the fridge for at least an hour. Um, what's going to happen in that hour is that the liquids are going to further hydrate the flour so that you get that stretchy texture mm -hmm. that makes such a thin crepe possible to flip. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they um, thin and treat. And yeah, so when I flip it right now, it can be yeah. really difficult. Yeah. Um, but if you're using the gluten-free or vegan recipes, then no need to rest because the ingredient setup is different. But for the regular standard recipe, do let this sit for at least an hour. Um, or if you want to, you can even make it overnight. Um, the only thing is you do need to check your consistency. So we have one already made. It's already been resting for an hour. We're going to pull that out. Through the magic of live television. So we're going to show you. We're going to do one with this consistency, just so we can see how thick it is already. Yeah. It's probably gonna be too thick, that's okay. Yeah. The first crepe is never good, as they say. Yeah, we made this batter around, you made this batter around like 3.30, so mm -hmm. it's been sitting for about two and a half hours. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So even in that time, some of the water is gonna have evaporated. Yeah, so, so we'll probably end up adding a little bit of water to get it to be the right consistency. Uh, we'll put this in the fridge and we can have this for breakfast. Yes. We also have a pile of crepes in the <laughs> <laughs> Our crepe sins. Okay, so practice oh, I'm gonna go ahead and move over to the stove here. Whoa, she fell again. I find that. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. This is the second time she's fallen, and uh, we're not very good illustration parents. Anyways, I'm gonna I'm gonna put her put her down somewhere else. Yeah, that's but probably people have seen her. 
Let me plug the laptop this is, back in. This is me. This is my bear boyfriend. Yes, that's she married a bear in spring. This is my this is my ex husband. <laughs> okay, we're gonna move this camera over so that you guys can see what we're doing over here. It's okay, we'll fix it. Okay, so we have our batter. We have our nonstick pin. You can see, yep, looks good. We're gonna turn that to a medium heat to start, but we're gonna adjust this down more because the pan's gonna stay hot as we keep going. Yeah, especially with an electric oven, they get really hot and they stay hot. So depending on your oven setup, um, yeah. Okay, so the only thing is I have a spatula, heat proof, Oh, check your my donuts. donuts. I'm going to pull these out and I'm just going to rotate them 180 degrees. They're starting to puff up just a little bit. And I'm going to, last time they were done in about five more minutes. So I'm going to set the timer for five more minutes and then I'm going to poke them. They look really good. Yeah, they're looking good. Start. Okay, so we have a spatula and then we also have for us a one-third cup measure. Um, Alton Brown's original recipe calls for a quarter cup. But that's going to depend on the size of your pick. Us, a third of a cup. Um, the other thing I'm going to pull out is some butter to increase this. This is our pan. Now, if you have a really good nonstick, then you don't need to grease this. Mm -hmm. But I like it because it gives a little bit of that um, brown bit on the back side of it. And it's a little more flavor and a little more visual appeal. So mm -hmm. we are going to use butter. I will, I will put back on the main camera so you guys can get a nice close up of the crepe action. So, we have our butter. Let's feel it at the temperature. Then let the pan get a little hotter. You want your pan to be fairly hot. It shouldn't be like smoking or anything, but fairly hot so that you can get a quick cook on your thin crepe. Looks like our butter is chunky. Butter yes, it's tasty. the Finlandia imported from Finland butter. Yeah, it's tasty it's and also not that expensive. No, so yes. that's what we've been using. And we we seem we seem to like the flavor better than the um that expensive one. The mm -hmm. one? No, no, no. Oh, the blue gram. Blue gram. Yeah. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Just a really fancy French butter. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Another tip for you guys: whatever your dominant hand is, use that to scoop your batter. And then shift that over to your non-dominant hand uh -huh. so that you can have your dominant hand free to twirl the pan. Uh -huh. That sounds complicated, but I promise it's not that hard. Okay, so let's do this. Pan feels good. I'm going to give this a greasing just a little bit. Ooh, fancy imported. Yeah, we bought it at Safeway. It's really Safeway. fancy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm going to do one to check our consistency, and then we will adjust it with a little bit of water. So again, with my batter, it's in my non-dominant pan. Picking the pan up with my dominant hand, I need to pull the batter in and then twirl it around. You want to keep moving it so that you get a good even coating on your pan, um, and also keep moving it until the batter stops. That's going to help cook it evenly. <laughs> so let's do this. The bottom layer is going to cook as you're swirling it. Yeah, see, it's a little, it's, it's a little thick. thick, a little hard to to get it all the way to the edge. Not so bad. Just keep on moving it until you see that it can't move anymore. Mm -hmm. And what you're going to look for is the edges. So if that looks good to me, I'm going to let that sit. It's probably going to take about 20, 30 seconds or so. Um, so you're going to look for the edges. And when you see the edges are just starting to brown, mm -hmm. that's when you're probably ready to flip. Mm -hmm. um, but if you're kind of nervous that maybe it's under or overcooked, you can also just, um, when it feels stable enough, take under it, just take your yeah. spatula and do a little edge. Ariane Makov says, I got to get me one of them crepe pans. Yeah, well, this was a gift from your dad. OK, so the funny thing with this is I was complaining that like, this type of flat stove, I didn't have any good way to heat up um, Yes. Mm -hmm. And my dad just came over one time and was like, oh, I bought you this pan so you can heat up your tortillas. And Kristen and I, so I and I saw it and we were like, oh, I guess we are going to make this. <laughs> it's perfect. <laughs> yeah, but this thing is great. I think it was probably also um, a purchase you found at like uh, Marshalls mm -hmm. or Ross or something. It doesn't even have a brand name on it. I have no idea where, where, where it's from. Nope. Another good tip for finding cheap but good quality baked stuff, if you sift around Ross, 
or Marshalls, they actually have a lot of really nice um, quality baking stuff. Yeah, home goods. Yep, yep, home goods has been a lot of our hookups for cute, yeah. cute and affordable yes. things. Got to keep an eye out for what you're looking for. Okay, so also another tip for flipping. Um, when you flip this, you want to get your spatula to the halfway point of your crate, get all the way under and halfway, and then flip it over, because you're going to be able to support your crate that way. If you get like a third in and try to flip it, you might break it, or maybe you're not going to land while centering the pan, which is not at the end of the level either. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm going to see, I'm starting to see, let's see if you guys can see this, a little brown around the edges. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to take a look at this. This is actually not a bad consistency. Oh no, it's it beautiful. Here, I may do this. Check that over. It's great. Yeah, I'm gonna add just the teeniest bit of water to loosen this up, but otherwise, we're gonna a good spot. Mm -hmm. So, once you flip this, maybe give it about 10 seconds or so. Um, if you see it puffing a little bit, don't worry, it's gonna go back down. Masterful says Azukimi Kan. Thank you. She's the pastry chef, not me. Um, that flip seems like the scariest part to me. Yeah. No, it's not that bad. Again, just go for the middle and you're good. I'm going to shimmy this off of here. Right, I'm going to open the oven. We also have, oh yes, she pulled it up already. We have a, I have a toothpick here. I'm just going to stabby stab, see where we're at. This one, this one's still a little gooey. This one came out dry. Let's see. I'm going to rotate it again. Give it like a minute, another minute or two. Be careful with that. So this soap. is not quite done yet. I'm going to try. Oh, some of them are dry. Mm -hmm. well, just give it a few more minutes, I think. I'm going to give it a minute or two. Listen, if you bake them and you poke it and it comes out clean, it's not the end of the world either. They just have more of a regular donut texture as opposed to um, yes. mochi. Yeah. Chewy. So it's it's still it's wet, not not crummy. We want crummy. We don't want wet. So I left it in for another couple minutes, and I think I'm gonna pull it out at that stage. Um, and I'll get a, I'll get a clean to stab with. Yes. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and make a few crepes for us to work with. We're in a good spot. Okay, my pan's also getting a little hotter. I'm turning down the heat just slightly. Let's keep going. Yeah, nonstick pans. They're not. They're 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 really great for some things, but other things, it's hard. Like if you're making like a stir fry or something, it's hard to, to like browning. browning, or it's hard to like get in there with your spatula to like really mix things up because you don't want to scratch it. Um, but for things like this, you kind of you kind of did they make crepes before? Did they just have a really, really well seasoned like skillet? Just witchcraft. Just, just French witchcraft. But yeah, this type of um, soft, flexible heat proof spatula will help you out a lot with this too. Yeah. So you don't have to worry about scratching anything, but you can get something that's got a sturdy base to it. So move it under and flip. <laughs> the other thing with using the butter is that when your pan gets a little bit hotter, you get some of that brown butter taste. Mm -hmm. really nice. Yeah, it's really nice. It takes notes. <laughs> it takes notes. Yes, yes, please do. Please do. Yeah, and if you have any questions for us while you're baking, please feel free to message us on our Instagram or either of our Instagram pages, mm -hmm. um, and we're she, she'll be better at answering questions than you. But I can. Yeah. I can. I can do my best. I can right, pass on intel. Let's do a little bit because I think this is a, uh, let's see, take a peek here. Okay, so we got some color again. Oh, Halfway under. There we go. Yeah, you gotta commit to the flip. The, the crepes can smell fear, so you gotta be careful. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna poke this one that was really poor. I'd like to follow you on your Instagram so you'd love to share them. Yes. So I go under Lace Vampire and Allegra is under Allegra on Paris. That's one A in the middle. One A in the middle. But All if right. you see me on um, Lace Vampire on Instagram, um, I have Allegra's um, handle also on my bio. Yeah, my person is my So you can see there's just the tiniest amount of crumb. I don't know if you can see. 
Did you see the a single makeup, crumb? A makeup vlog moment. <laughs> There's just a tiny crumb. Um, so I have, I put them on a cooling rack. Yes. I don't know if people can see. I have them on a cooling rack. And I'm going to let them cool for about five minutes, and then I'm going to turn them out. And then I'm going to let them cool completely after I turn them out. So I'm just going to hang out over here. One or two more of these things. Now this consistency with just a bit more water is working out. Really <laughs> <laughs> oh. that. What's going on right Someone now? says darn Famicom. I'm not sure. Fanime. Oh, oh, Fanime. Yes, Fanime, Fanime is happening this weekend. Well, no, someone said Famicom and then they said Fanime. What? <laughs> um, and then Rosie Posey said, I'd like to follow your Instagrams. And then Bay Kate graciously linked their Instagrams in the chat. So, hmm? I'd like to say thank you. Yes, thank you. So, if you would like to follow us, we're there. Thank you very much. No pressure, but we also that's there. Our Instagram. Instagram. Yes, we do. That's all linked as well. Information. Oh, and our YouTube channel has also been linked. Thanks. Oh, thank you so much. For YouTube, that, that, uh, one day we'll make more content for it. Oh, we, we, we did make content for, for this panel, which we will share with you guys. Yes. Yeah. So the uh, crepes, we're going to fill these soon once we have these all done. Um, but the bear ears, the little star, and the crown for the crepe decoration, um, we actually made in advance. We have a video on our um, Instagram mm -hmm. yeah. and also on our YouTube yeah. for how to make that. Mm -hmm. Also, not difficult. It just takes a little prep beforehand. Um, yeah. So we'll have those at the end and we'll show it to you. If we're like 20 minutes ahead of schedule, we can just play you guys the face. <laughs> right. Because we already we still have an hour left. We're doing great. We're yeah. doing good. Yeah. I'll put the camera back so you can see us again. Hello. So just be patient with your crates. Yes. Crates need love and affection. Yes, they do. And no fear. And no fear. <laughs> Be a firm but guided hand. A firm but guided hand <laughs> towards the light. The other thing I really want to try now that we have really got our crepes done is I've always wanted to make a crepe cake. Yeah. And I've seen some really cute rainbow ones too, so I think a, a, a gay a crepe fried, cake is a, in our a fried for crepe June. cake would be awesome. This is making me so hungry. We have our refrigerator is full of crepes. So like and also, we have a ton of whipped cooking cream oh and my ice cream and stuff. I in our really fridge. overdid it on buying. So, like, cream. please come over and we'll feed you crepes. Yeah. We also have birthday cake in there for too. Listen, we have done a lot of baking in the last two weeks or so. There's flans in there. There's flans. There's birthday. There's Oreo birthday cake. There's crepes. There's ice cream. It's it's, it's, it's time. <laughs> it's madness. And I'm leaving to go to, I'm working Girl Scout camp this summer, so I'm leaving on Sunday, so I'm not even going to eat all of it, which is, I think, the saddest part. We, we will find people to partake with us <laughs> safely. Um, I love the multi -cube. Thank you. We're in the future now. We're techno lolitas. We have that beautiful setup. <laughs> um, you can do savory cakes, yes. Mm -hmm. The ham and cheese crepe, delicious. Oh, that's one of my favorites. Cheese you know? and egg crepe delicious. Some people like to put hot dogs or sausages in them. Mm -hmm. There's, it, it's sort of like, like a tortilla. You can just follow your dreams, put whatever you want in it, kind of. It's just a vessel for delicious things. Um, Ariane McCobb says, I wish I wasn't across the country. I would, come yes, we would oh, love to hang out with you sometime. Yes. If ever anyone's in the neighborhood, we gotta hook up. As someone who is pure flotsam and jetsam in the kitchen, I'm amazed you didn't get anything on your courts. Yeah, we're we've been practicing we're for the seasoned, safety of our we're seasoned of our veterans. veterans. Like I said, baking can smell fear, so you just have to go in like guns blazing and it'll right, be okay. Right. So this is gonna be our last crepe. Oh, I mushroom know. crepe! That sounds oh, delicious. I was just thinking that. Um, Elliot Chan is going to be doing their savory yes. panel tomorrow. Yes, their savory panel. And they have a mushroom recipe that would be delicious inside of the Yes, cream. yes. I believe they're doing a salmon tea sandwich mm -hmm. on the bear theme. A something with mushrooms. It's a mushroom tart. A I mushroom believe. tart, yes. So be sure to tune in to, to their, their panels tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. Yeah. Tomorrow in the morning, I believe. Tomorrow in the morning, morning. yes. Yes. Yeah, definitely looking forward to catching that. Loving all this cooking content. Thank you. Yay. All right, so I'm gonna turn out. I'm gonna move. I'm gonna move you back here just a little bit. Yeah, that's good. 
And I'm going to turn out. <laughs> Nobody panic. Nobody move. Hello, hello, hello. Sorry. All right, I'm going to turn these out onto the cooling rack. And these should come out really easily. So I'm just going to. Oh, yeah, that's the really nice thing about having a silicone wheel. Ta da! Wow. Wow. Beautiful little stars. It was so cute. <laughs> da da da. Okay. The thing I extra love about this mold is that even the so center cheap. is stars. It's so so it's just like the commitment to the detail. Good job, guys. So cute. Okay, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop uh, fondling the <laughs> the donuts, and I'll move the camera back. Yeah. So those are gonna have to cool until they're yes. ready to be. Iced. They're gonna have to cool completely, or else the icing is just gonna slide right off of them. So I'm gonna move you back over here to crepe territory. Move like butter. Thank you, thank you. Yes, the donuts are really cute. The donuts are right not to be fondled. I'm sorry, I burst oh them. Uh, yes, but they are their own autonomous. Yes, the donuts must also learn consent. Are there gothic donut shapes? You can do croft donuts. Yeah. Was it, right it voodoo donut have that like, oh, that like vampire that look like a coffin? Yes. Yes. I yes. believe so. Yes. I've seen coffin donuts for sure. I don't know. That could be fun. Listen, if you just add enough black food coloring to any can be a coffin pastry. There you go. I've proven this coffin shaped donuts. <laughs> yes. Coffin shaped donuts sounds like a good time though. What would you fill them with? Like straight jam? Like red, red jelly or something? Red jam on the inside? Beets. Beets. Beets for the food box. That one's popular. <laughs> yeah. All right. So we got one yeah. good crepe here ready to go. I'm going to move this pan off. Off the heat. Cherry jam. Yeah, cherry jam. That with its heart cut. Oh, that would be good. <laughs> yeah, please, more more gothic dessert ideas that we can bring to you guys for next Halloween, for this Halloween. Oh, yes, that too. That too. Oven right. safety, everybody. Oven safety. Yes. Okay. I'm going to move these over here. Hello. And now we are going to show you guys how to fill your basic crepe. These are a little hot on the top. So I'm going to move these to a new plate. Or else you could draw a pentagram on a circle filled donut with ice. Yes, you there you go. Could. There you go. Make them look rad as heck and tasty. Question mark. It's gothic donuts. I feel like the color flavors are tertiary. Yes, I think so. <laughs> as long as your aesthetic and decorations are on point, the flavors are important, but not as important as the look. Did you guys hear about the um? Was it strawberry and like ghost pepper? Oh yeah, there was a donut. There's like, a lot of ghost pepper jams. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I only knew about it because Lima Miranda ate one. <laughs> Shall I dry it off? Yes, you fan, 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 fan the crepe. Like they do on Great British Baking Show. Oh, oh, sorry! <laughs> Not to me to karate chop your crepe. You're good, you're good. Beautiful crepes, thank you. Okay. Move this with one over one more time, and this is good to go. So I'm gonna show you guys, think about your crepe uh, in half, and then from there, think about it almost like a pie. Think about it in thirds. So you wanna think of a triangle, which is your, your end result yeah. here. Um, you wanna decorate within that quadrant. Right. Do you have any of the scissors? Yes. So I have all of our fillings prepped and ready to go here. So Where's the scissors? Where's our guys? Where's the oh, oh wait, the scissors are here on the usual, in the usual cup. Oh, these ones. Yes. Okay, <laughs> so our fillings here, we have strawberries and strawberry jam and matcha powder for mm -hmm. our strawberry matcha. And then we have Nutella as our hazelnut component, chopped and toasted hazelnuts, mm -hmm. and for a little extra crunch, corn flake. Mm -hmm. Tough bun says, I don't know why, but for some reason a cherry pie with black pie crust popped into mind. 
Ooh, Ooh, that, sounds good. that would be good. We did a really, really dark pie crust for our Valentine's Day panel. So yeah. that with a cherry filling mm -hmm. would be really nice. We used use like the extra dark cocoa. Yeah, I was gonna say if you want to achieve like a really black crust, um, look for black or raven cocoa powder, mm -hmm. but do be sparing with it. You yeah. maybe need like 20% of your total cocoa to be that or it'll be really bitter. Uh -huh. But it's it's very dark. But a bright red, yeah, like a maraschino cherry red filling, so it really pops against the, the black, that would be fun. Okay, I'm gonna start with the strawberry. Um, it's fun to make like a pie with like a hand coming out of it or something. Or like, would you like to chop some strawberries? I sure would. How do you how do you want to chop this? Just, just, just little slices little is perfect. perfect. I need a knife. Oh, one on the trick. I need a weapon. Thank you. Weapon of choice. So I'm going to snip our strawberry jam bag open, and I'll show you the quadrant I'm talking about. So I am talking like. Imagine your crepe in half here, yeah? And now, you wanna go, I'm gonna here. I'm find the ugliest ones to cut. In nice. this, this quadrant here, right in the middle is what we're aiming for. That would be so cool for Halloween, yeah. Listen, Halloween baking is how we got started with all this stuff, so yes. I'm sure we'll be back. So I'm just gonna put, yeah, there are a couple of Halloween here. recipes on our um, YouTube page if you are interested. Yeah, we have um, cross shaped chocolates. Too. Oh, we need one more. Okay. Cross shaped chocolates, and what was the other thing that we did? We did bat cookies. Bat cookies, yeah, bat, bat sandwich cookies. cookies. That yeah. was really good. They're like an upscale Oreo in the shape of a bat. Okay, and then I also have some whipped cream ready to go. Let me get that going. Um, I think tip is optional. You don't need it for your jam and your Nutella, but it is extra cute to have a nice big star type tip for your cream. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to pipe some cream. <laughs> Halloween on treats top 365 here. days a year. That's right. Yes, that's it. Barry cases. I literally had to grab my stack because you guys made me so. <laughs> what do you have for snack, Barry? Okay. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah. Pro tip for cream that we tried this time, um, add a little bit of uh, mascarpone or like even cream cheese mm -hmm. to your heavy cream yeah. and whip that. It gives it a lot, it gives more, a lot body. more body. It's really nice. It's a really nice flavor. Just a little treat, add the treat. Like a little mouse. Very good, very good choice. Bread and cheese, there you go. So Allegra sliced up some strawberries for us. We're now going to layer those on. You're telling me you don't want a black tongue? <laughs> yes, <laughs> for the... Uh, for the uh, pastry, yes. Well, these strawberries are good. Check out the body audi audi on that cheese. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we have those down. And then this was a fun little extra uh, addition of matcha that Allegra came up with. Mm -hmm. um, just sprinkle a little matcha powder matcha on top. Powder. It's just going to add up. a hint of bitterness and mm -hmm. a beautiful matcha flavor. Now, let me go over to my face. <laughs> And we have our ice cream for our bears pre-scooped and in the freezer so that they're going to be as hard and as kind of Stable easy to work as with possible. as possible. So when we plate them for you guys at the last minute, it won't just immediately start melting everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Firm bears. Yes. Anything for the bears. Firm. Yes. Firm, taut, yoke bears. <laughs> okay. So um, I'm going to show you how to fold this crepe over. So we're going to start on the opposite side. Fold like a little loving blanket. Mm -hmm. And now and you're then, gonna take your other third and fold it up and then tuck it in on the side. Yes. With a firm guiding hand. <laughs> and there you have it. Tuck it in, that's right. And uh, we have these really cute, uh, another Daiso purchase. Another Daiso right? purchase bear. Little bear plate that I'm going to turn this out onto. So take your crate and whatever the plate you want to finish on and get your hand underneath and just flip that boy over. Mm -hmm. Ta-da! Crate! Now we're gonna do something a little extra for this to make it ultra cute, is that we're gonna go back in with more whipped cream and just lift this top flap a bit and pipe a little border. And pipe a little border. This is all just extra fluff, so feel free to skip these parts, but it just makes it look so extra cute. Yes, Castle it does. Pastry Chef says, I have that dice, no, Barry K says, excuse me, has to have that dice plate, but has a cup. Yeah, I have the plate and I have like, there's a little, it's actually over here. It's a little bare. Um, I have my sprinkles on it. You'll see it in a bit. I saw like the whole uh, the whole set, the whole set, and I wanted to buy all of them, but it had to be reasonable. I we had to be reasonable. So we already have things. so many cups and like, drool intensifies over here. <laughs> oh no! So you can even stop right there. Just dust it with a little powdered sugar, and that is a fantastic crepe. 
So I'm going to get going on our Nutella one. Mm-hmm. Ooh, these strawberries are good. Yeah, they are actually good, right? We had yes. like strawberry season is approaching. Our last batch of strawberries was not as good. The one before it was really good. Now these ones are good again. So you have been blessed. I've been blessed with good strawberries. All right, so I'm drawing my little guideline here. I'm going to eat the I'm, I'm, I'm being helpful. I'm being helpful. I'm eating yes. the strawberries. Quality control, right? <laughs> All right. There it is. Yes. And uh, with the Nutella, you can be a little more generous if you want because it's firm. But with your jam, be careful because it's kind of uh, watery that you don't want to like hydrate your grape too much. Right. Make soggy. it soggy. Yeah. So uh, we have that down, and now we're going to give that some cream. We chose not to put any uh, sweeteners in our cream because we found that there's enough going on with the Nutella and the ice cream and everything. Yeah. But um, if you find that your whipped cream isn't as stable as you like sometimes, or it melts a little too fast for you, you can add a decent amount of powdered sugar to that, and that'll give it some more stability. Yeah. Not, powdered sugar has starch in it, so that it doesn't clump so much, but that starch will also help and support your cream. Yeah, Aria Makab says, I need to go to that Daiso and flushing and my seat still haven't gone, now I want to. Yeah, Ooh, yeah. definitely, yeah, Daiso has a lot, just be careful you don't like <laughs> buy everything. Uh, Daiso has really useful stuff, but you can also fall into the trap of buying a bunch of stuff you don't actually need or aren't actually going to use. So true. So I just put a little bit of the chopped toasted hazelnuts on there. And then for an optional but delicious crunch, you're going to add some corn flakes. Some of the some of got on the counter. So we're again just going to tuck that over. Look at that nice fold. And again, we're just going to give that a cute decorative little border. First few trips when I discovered Daiso, I would spend at least $50. Yeah, that's what happens. You think everything's like a dollar fifty, so you're like, oh, I'll get this, and I'll get this, and I'll get this, and I'll get this, and I'll get that. And then by the time you go to the checkout, they're like, um, $65, and you're like, what? How many stickers do I actually need? Right, right, right. I dream of Daiso. Someone please whisk me away to one. Yeah, when we can meet up again. The magical experience. When we can meet up again. One of the also places we always hit up on our when we used to have in person meets, which we are still which we are doing a little bit here and there now. Yeah, but we would always go to Japantown and go to Daiso and all of that fun stuff. So I'm excited to be able to do that again. Yes, all the stickers. You never know when you need a sticker. I think. Icing time, yes. So, moving on, we're going to make icing for our for our mochi donuts. I will remove my wrist cuffs again so the chat doesn't scream at me. Lovingly remove the wrist cuffs from the purple food color. We'll take the wrist cuffs away. So we're gonna make a really basic glaze icing and I'm just, we're just gonna flavor it with more ube. So really simple, I just have Powdered sugar, I'm going to add, I guess I can do all of it. All of it, this is what, half cup? Two thir- three quarters cup, I think? Mm-hmm. Um, half cup powdered sugar, half yeah. Cup. And I'm going to oh, add- Do you want to uh, sift for that uh, half cup? Did you have to sift it? Oh, did you? Sorry. No, I didn't, but you didn't should. Yeah, it might help to sift it. Okay, I will sift it. She's the professional backing up. Back in the other <laughs> Sorry, that one's too fast. Though. That's fine. I should have. I should have thought to sift it in the first place. We had a lot of moving parts here, so bear with us as we had to remember. Bear with ah! us. She's done it. I have to, you have to put change horses. in the fun jar. All right, I'm gonna sift this because that's what the pastry chef told me to do. <laughs> there you go. Bear pun counter one. Oh no. Yes, the wrist cuffs are safe. And the donuts feel nicer though. Cool. Yeah, the donuts should be good to go. Okay. Bear, bear, bear. Yes, bear, yes. bear, bear. Anything bear, for the bear. bear. We're like good. 45 minutes left. Mm-hmm. We're golden. Okay. 
So now we have, sorry, what's okay? Ah. Okay, so now we have our sifted powdered sugar. I was gonna say flour, that's not right. All right, <laughs> I have two teaspoons of more evaporated milk for more of that caramel flavor. We're not gonna add it all at once. I'm gonna add in half, a little bit more than half, just to start off with, give it a mix. And then if I need more at the end, I will add more in. Starting with only part of it helps it come out smoother too, because it's all thicker. So it's easier to whisk out any clumps or anything like that. Mm -hmm. Oh, this does not seem like enough. You can always add a little more. That's the thing with like this. You can always add more, so always you start with like less. less out. Okay. Well, uh, there's a whisk also. You want to add that in my pocket. Sometimes with icing, it seems really stiff um, before it comes together. But it's always better to just mix what you have together first. Um, and don't do what I did in the last panel, like with <laughs> add too much water to the icing, and oh, then yes. it gets runny and a little sad. But it's always tasty. So no, I might have sad. mismeasured because this is still really dry. Okay. Mm -hmm. spot a you. mistake. That's fine. Yeah, here we go. Can you a little more? Or? Can you a little more? Just a little more. Now, the other thing with this is that there is a considerable amount of um, extract. Extra, yes, so it's going to be more liquid. Yeah, so if it seems a little stiff right now, don't worry. Once you add your food coloring and your jam, that's going to um, loosen it up, too. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to add my, this is what, like two teaspoons? Mm -hmm. of food. Oh, wait, I should add the ube first, actually, because I'm going to take some out. Right, right, right. Let me get you a cup for that. That's that. Yeah, I'm going to, um, which you'll see me do in a second, I'm going to actually divide this icing into two portions. One portion is going to be dyed blue to add a sort of marbled galaxy effect to our purple icing, and then the other half is going to be a nice deep um, uh, purple color. Yes. So I have fast all paste with those small utensils. Yes, just the perfect yeah. tiniest whisk. Ah, strawberry jam donuts says strawberry jam donuts. Oh, strawberry. The counter ticks to two. Oh <laughs> no. Okay. So this is for that's for the blue. Oh, icing. I see. Okay. Let's make sure. Okay. So I'm gonna take a little bit less than half, probably like a, a quarter mm -hmm. of the amount. You don't need that much because we're just gonna drizzle it on top. I'm going to separate that out. I'm going to drizzle it along the top with a fork at the very end. Here we go. That's going to be set aside. Let that hang out. Now, in the rest of our icing, I'm going to add our ube extract. Here, let me extract the purple again. Just going to extract the extract. Let that stir. We're going to get a really, really nice dark royal purple color and it doesn't taste like food dye or anything like that so it's not don't worry about the, the coloring giving you like a food color food coloring taste it doesn't do that at all no this this flavor is really really nice yeah again it's really like that um it's like a mellow thai sticky rice thai sticky rice with the evaporated milk really makes that final like touch mellow vanilla flavor okay so here's our purple glaze um, very purple. <laughs> <laughs> very dark very nice Oh, I love the darkness. As yeah, well. yes, yes. We like it too, yeah. If you want to go even further, you can add a little bit of black food coloring, mm -hmm. but that's totally optional. Black, yeah. Okay, so moving back to our other one, I'm going to get... Oh, there's a toothpick already in the container too. I got you. I'm prepared. I'm going to take some royal blue food coloring, and I'm just going to give this a little hit of color. And so you can see why we didn't add any of the ube extract to this one, because it's going to get so dark. so dark, and it wouldn't really be hard to read it as blue. Just add blue until you're happy with it. I usually go for like a pretty true blue kind of color. Yeah, I think space. I think space. This is a little kind of ocean, so I'm going to add a little more. Oh, 
Oh. Optional black, AKA required, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and the nice thing too with the, um, with the purple that you already have there, it's so intense already that it's really easy to build it up if you want like a true solid black. So in the future, if you're making black icing or something, maybe go ahead and throw in start with, some, some of this start McCormick with the Ube Ube extract yeah, so and it'll, we'll get you halfway there. there. So what do you think guys, this blue or darker? Let's say the people. Let's say the people. It's kind of like a dark, 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 darker. darker. We have two for right. darker. Okay, we're gonna go darker. Darker in all capitals. The people have the spoken. The people have spoken. Okay, we'll go darker. I just want to make sure that it's still gonna um, stand out against the purple because I don't want it to be too dark, or else you're not gonna be able to read the different colors. But we'll do a little bit darker. Pastel pastry just says always darker, like our schools. <laughs> yes. <laughs> there again with food coloring you can always add more so start light and build up yeah hi molly hi molly woman says dark are the people yes. want darker how about that oh yeah is that better more this is a theater of our colors. Or space. Yeah, says Alice. Okay. I got one yeah. Okay, I think we're gonna go with this. Okay. I'm gonna move our mochi donuts back over here and then we'll talk about decorations. I have our donuts here on the cooling rack and this is really convenient so I can just ice right onto here and any leftover glaze is just going to trickle down to the bottom. I'm going to try and clean off some of the crusty edges here. Oh yeah, and we're going to glaze the um, bottom side. I just forgot. We're going to actually, we're going to, I'm not going to glaze this, we're going to glaze this because this has a much more crisp star defined shape, shape, defined star shape. So it'll just, it'll, it'll need a bit better. With the glaze on top. I'm gonna put these bad boys over and get started. Ari McCobb says in all caps, these are gonna be so pretty. These are really satisfying to make, honestly. Yeah, they're, they're not difficult, but they turn out yeah. so cute. Minimal effort, maximal, mm -hmm. maximal aesthetic. That's what we like here. That's what we're about here. Okay, so easy enough. I'm just going to straight up dip into our glaze and give it a nice twirl. And pull it up. Ta da! Cute. And if you um, are, you are if you if you are finding that maybe you didn't get the whole so some little uh, spots that maybe just bubbled up and you didn't get, you can just grab a spoon, just ladle it, ladle a little bit on there so it's nice and even. Don't worry too much about it. Okay. All right. The people are already pleased here. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm going to take the blue. And there's a fork for you over there too. And I'm gonna grab a fork, grab a little bit on, I think it's a little bit right now. Maybe you can microwave it a little bit, that might help. Okay, I'm gonna microwave it a little bit because I want it to be able to drizzle and right now. It's not drizzling. Can I microwave this? It's plastic. That cup, that's fine. It's a microwave safe cup. <laughs> Just give it like five seconds or something. Sometimes with this icing, it actually sets up uh, pretty quick. So you may just need to blast it with a little bit of heat. Last it. Just to go. get it to the, the consistency where you can. Yeah, that's again. better. Yeah. So now I'm going to just give it a drizzle, whatever your heart desires. Cute. Corporate says blast it. Blast it. Yes. yes. And commit to the space. There we go. I'm going to let that sit before I pick it up and show it to you guys. So I'm going to do, oh, do you want to put the sprinkles on? Oh yeah, I guess we can just sprinkle um, before I go ahead and do the rest of these. Yeah. So for sprinkles, we have a couple of different things. We bought a sort of black and white kind of um, multi -pack, selection. If you will. Yeah, we've got gray sugar. We've got black and white non non perennials. Non -perennials. Pirellis. Pirellis. <laughs> <laughs> black sugar, and we really like these little beat the little black and white um, little 
beads, dots. Yes, those are pearlies, non pearlies. Non pearlies also. It really gives that effect of like the stars across the sky. Yeah, and we have these silver stars. This is another bear from the Daiso Bear collection. We have these little stars that we bought at Joann's. And then lastly, we have this really beautiful kind of metallic lilac gray food glitter. Food glitter that we're going to top off. Okay, so just going to go for it. Yeah. Liliana Avril says, very sparkly. Yes. Yeah. I'm yeah. just going to do some. Pastel yeah. Pastry Soap Simple. says, I love those multi technicals. Yeah, they're so fun. And then you like can have a little bit of everything and not have to commit. <laughs> yes. You can exactly you can, uh, choose you around as you will with the sprinkles, with a lot of sprinkles. So I'm just going to arrange to my liking our stars on our stars. And there we have it. I have a plate ready for you for the stage ones here. So you can show that off to the camera. So you continue on. And I will continue. Let's, so that people can see our little star. Space donuts. 20 stars. Yes. Just a, a beautiful little star for the people. Yes. All right, we've got half an hour left. Going oh. good. Oh, that will fall apart a little bit. That's just it's fine. Sorry, you didn't hear anything. No one will know. Pigment of your imagination says so much serotonin. Thank Yay! You to bring people joy during these dark times. Yes. Maybe even darker blue would be nice. Yeah. Maybe I'll do like three of this color blue and I'll make it darker. Sure, sure, sure. Again, you can always add more color. Yeah. They look really good though. Pick it out. So cute. Mm -hmm. Oh no, it just fell off. Let me saw it. It's wrapped. It's uh other pan in the background here. Oh, I see. Oh, I forgot to add the um sugar, the, the dusting sugar. I'll oh, yes, glitter. glitter on this one. Yes. The glitter. Keep all the glitter. Yeah, I'm just placing these with my hands. If you're a mad woman like my girlfriend, she placed them <laughs> with tweezers. Listen, if you've met any paste people, we have a lot of things in common. We like small, tiny utensils, like paring knives that are not the correct size for whatever you're using, and always having tweezers so that you can adjust just ever so slightly because it's always slightly off. Someone invented to teleporter now. Tweezers are the way to go. Yes, pastel paste for Jeff understands my kindred. I'm just going to gently, yeah. and I will add a hint of glitter. You wanna, you can, wanna you can put that on the tray on camera? Yeah. Zoom it in there. Yeah, yeah, that little extra something, that little extra glitter. Mm -hmm. That's really good. And next, we get to decorate the bears. Yes. Then the, best then the bear celestial party will be complete. Yes. Another request for food teleportation. Someday we will achieve the technology. Well, we were, someone was mentioning um, at our last panel that if we can do in-person events again, they might try and rent out like a commercial kitchen. Yeah, I think that was the this. That would be really fun to, to do this in person. To host so we can, um, so we can all get together and all enjoy the baking in the fancy clothes. Yeah. We might have to, um, uh, we might have to invest in a Lolita apron so they can bake in their Lolita. Pigment of your imagination says, have you ever thought of using one of those wax katana rhinestoning tools for this? I have no idea what that is. I, what is Might that? work out pretty Tell well us. for sprinkle pigment. Whatever that is, it sounds interesting. I like anything that gives you that precision. Yeah, anything that you put in exactly Yes. You know if you need to start decorating. No, no, we're First. doing good. We're doing good. Okay. Is there any, do any of you guys have a favorite summer treat you guys like? Favorite ice cream, favorite popsicle, favorite kind of frozen dessert? Or not. Frozen. There's still Katana, that's the brand, brand name. Oh, okay. okay. We're we'll looking for that. To, we'll have to do a Google. Oh, rhinestoning for like jewelry and stuff. Oh, oh yes. okay, okay. Now, 
now we are it's coming together. together. It's coming. It's all coming together. Okay, I'll have to look into that. That sounds tempting. Okay, there. Okay, perfect. So I'm gonna go a bit darker, just to see, just to see what's what. So you can do a bit darker. It's gonna come out here. Can. <laughs> Rosie Fuzzy 13 says, honestly, peach anything for summer. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Last time I was in Japan, they had pink peach Coca Cola. Oh, yeah. It's delicious. I like cherries. When cherry season comes in, yes. that's my favorite. We have a, we have a uh, planet of cherries in the fridge. We're going to make some cherry grapes. Yes, we have a, a stack of crepes that we're practicing this we're practicing So we're going to burn through that and all the excess heavy cream that I bought, and we're just going to throw some handfuls of cherries in there, and it's going to be fun. Mm -hmm. For me, it's fresh fruit and berries from a roadside farm stand. Yes. yes. Good taste, Molly. Good yes. taste. We're, we're, we're very excited about um, our blackberry bushes. Oh, yeah. Coming in. We have some really nice blackberry bushes out here. They're right in the sun, so that's the brutal part. But they are so tender and juicy and delicious from also being in the sun, so it's worth the pain. Yeah, it's worth the pain of falling in a raspberry, blackberry bush, <laughs> which I did last year. Yeah, but it was worth it. Ari McCobb says, peach and mango are my faves. Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Was one of All the tropical flavors for some are very, very good. Yes. Shall we call it with that one? Yes. And we can move on to... On to the I will finish the prince and the king in the back and make their emergence. Yes, their appearance. Yes, that's a real word. Appearance. appearance and appear. <laughs> yes. Um, I'm going to do that over to Oyan to finish up all the prints. People are speaking of the love of a good roadside stand and also raining your cherries. Yes, yes. Tough Bun says, I found some southern dewberries, wild blackberries, and harvested them and planted them today. Couldn't eat them since they were surrounded by poison ivy originally. Oh, oh no! Jeez, well, well I hope that, that all works out for you. That sounds that, like it'll be worth it in the long run. It's good that you figured that out, though, before you ate them. So, that's good. Yes, no, no unpleasant surprises. No, no, no. Okay, so. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yes, so the stars. Here are our space donuts. Da, 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 da. Whoa! <laughs> Not dump them anywhere, and they're really deliciously chewy. Oh, oh yeah, show them the texture. Is it the QQ? QQ. Mm. Mm. Ah. Mm. Yeah, and the little crunch from the sprinkles is actually yeah. nice. No, yeah. very good. Um, I just go back to the crepes. I'll be over here eating donuts. <laughs> Doing her sacred sworn duty to us. Yes. Okay, let me get the, the things I do for this family. <laughs> Eat donuts all day long. Okay, so put the space donut in my mouth. Wait here. Ah, uh, <laughs> here you go, chat. <laughs> okay, so. Tips for these crepes, we have all of our little bits and pieces here ready to go ahead of time. You basically, for this, you want to prep as much as possible. So we have our little team decorations that we made in our video. These are just like little crepe flakes, if you will. Um, if you've ever had like a Japanese parfait or if you've been to Uchi time and you've had one of their taiyaki with little um, sticks and things on them, the little swirly kind of wrapped uh, Kind of almost laminated looking things. That's just creatine just rolled up on itself. Um, so this is that. We have creatine in stars. We have. Welcome to our mukbang <laughs> channel. Wait, hold on a second here. Sorry, I've we, done this. We, we did this mid 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 meal. Sorry. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm good. And then we have ears. Oh, hold on, we got this. Here is for making your king bear even more bear. This is, uh, if you will, Sakumia wearing further bear hood. Yes. And then a crown. And then for the ears, we have 
fruit loops in different colors. And then we have marshmallows for their noses. These are cut in half, so they're not just like protruding out so and far. They also help better to the ice cream. And a cute little detail, these are just like little clippings of marshmallows that would yeah. be the eyebrows on our prints just mm -hmm. to give them that you know, sassy personality. Yeah. Um, and then M&Ms and, &Ms like them, yeah. and um, gosh, and I'm getting the words, mini chocolate chips, mini chocolate chips <laughs> yeah. um, for the eyes and noses. So you want to have all of these things out and ready to go. Mm -hmm. And let's see. Let's Should I show a picture prints. of what they're going to look like? Yeah, go ahead. You do that while so. I pour it around. So as you can see in our slideshow, we have our Prince Bear that is Fruit Loop ears, marshmallow eyebrows, mini chocolate chip eyes, marshmallow nose, mini chocolate chip nose, and he has a little star with him. And then King Bear is Fruit Teen, big ears, Fruit Teen crown, Fruit Loop ears, second e inner, inner ears, mm -hmm. mini chocolate chip eyes, uh, mini M&M nose and cheeks, and then of uh, marshmallow muzzle. Yes. Yes. All right. So let's go on this because I have our pre scooped ice cream out. You want to okay. work fast. That's why you want to have everything redone. Fast. So fast this fast. is our strawberry one. We're going to pick up our matcha and place that on top. So this one, you're going to take just one of your little half marshmallows and get one little uh, mini chocolate chip and squish that into the center. That's his little mouth. Then stick that on, and then take your two fruit loops for his little head. And ooh, careful not to crush your fruit. I think but, I can zoom in here. Let me do that. Okay. Zoom in. Yes, here we go. There we go. There we go. Okay, so he's got his nose and his little ears on. And now we are going to, you want to do those first so you can kind of see where you're going to place the eyes. Don't worry about that. Come on, Sal. <laughs> and he's gonna place his little eyes on. Huh. Now the nice thing with pre-freezing your ice cream like this, so you can you can you can touch it. it. <laughs> you can get down and dirty with your ice cream. Okay, so he's already really cute as he is, but I really really like the detail that Belly Bit had in the reference photo that yeah, we used. His little angry eyes. His little angry eyes. Ari McCall says the nose looks like a cyclops. I when it's a little <laughs> lol. Yes, you can have a cyclops. Oh, he's so cute. And there you are. Why well, needs his little star? Oh yes, his star. I'm he needs sorry. his star. The prince needs his star. Yes. And then we can finish decorating that with. Um, mm -hmm. There you are. More strawberry and more. Yeah, or powdered sugar, sugar or something if you want it. Yeah. Yep. 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 Okay, so I'm gonna stick this guy. It'll have a leg we'll stick this in, in, the in the freezer. Back in the freezer. And we're gonna get we'll do the, the other pin. one and then we'll do some last minute finishing touches. Yep, yeah, that's good. Freezer here? Freezer, yes. So then we have our hoji cha ice cream ready to go. Yeah. Prince Bear is gonna hang out on top of the hot dogs. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we have our hoji cha. Hoji cha. Okay, for King this Bear. one, start with your two mini marshmallows or the muzzle of his little mouth, his little lips. Okay, two red M and M's. Those are gonna be little blushies. Mm -hmm. They're gonna go like right up next to. Yeah, just like that, just like that. Okay. And then a brown mini M and M for his, his nose. His nose. You want to use mini M and M's for this because he's got a little more prominent features, so they stand out more. Yeah. Um, and then we're gonna do the ears. So. Little quietine ears. Mm -hmm. Skip those in. Don't push too hard because you might break them. Mm -hmm. So there they are. Sorry about bare ears, but now more, more, more bear, more ear. My name is Carl. Says he's here. He's here. The king has arrived. Okay. Kuma no oji san ga imashita. Okay. Ta da! He needs his little chip eyeball. His little chip eyeball. And so the eyes are kind of the thing you want to do last, mm -hmm. so you the, can see where to place the them. The eye to 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 like mouth ratio really determines the kind of cuteness factor. <laughs> yeah, it really does. Yeah. This is ah. so cute, says Alice. Do you think? So major props to Belly Good yeah. and all their employees for being like so fast. Yeah, but we pretty much took this kind of whole cloth from 
the way that Belly Good does it. And lastly, yes, so please support them. Please go see them yes. safely when you can, yes, as they're still open. Please, 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 yeah. And the king now gets his crown. I'm crying. One Heart. king bear. Yay! All right, we have about 15 minutes left, so I'm gonna stick this in the freezer, and then we can start plating stuff. Yeah, and chatting with you guys. So when things open back up, what kind of Lolita meetups do you guys want now? Let's see, should we actually bring both those out and we can yeah. have the decorations right on? Yeah, yeah. Do it. And we get our donuts in the Don, 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 I ate one. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna put some extra cream on here. It's here for ambiance. Is there still a strawberry around? That would be really cute. Yeah, I'll just get it. At this point, you're just adding extra cuteness. So I'm just gonna pipe a little bed of whipped cream and that's gonna sit a strawberry on there. And let's see, for our king bear. It's one from yesterday, so it's not three. Oh yes. He, he, an uneven number as the human brain prefers that sort of thing. Oh, they're in the fridge, okay. For our king bear, uh, let's give him just a little more side decoration, I think. Yeah, just an extra little swoosh. I'm gonna put this cream on the side. I think I wanna bring out the strawberry a little bit more. So I'm gonna do a little, and find the most beautiful strawberry. There we go, sounds good. Do a little zigzag line here, sorry, on our face there, great. Careful with your zoom. Well, sometimes with the jam, you may have to, depending on how uh, chunky your jam is, you may have to kind of move any obstructions of the, the jam bits for you. These are just so excellent. I have to watch the VOD I just got here. Oh, yes. Elia Chan, thank Elia you. Chan, Hello. We're looking forward to your panel as always. Tabe Masho says pig nut. I'll be honest. Tabe Masho. So, a cute little strawberry for our strawberry friend. And I think it's excellent. And smell. Oh, and should we put some uh, hot powder on top? Yeah. I'm going to add a dash of hot powder on the strawberry. Just. And on the side of our king here, I'm going to give him a few more chopped hazelnuts for extra decoration. I'm so happy we got to plate everything this time. Last yeah, time we were this like, time you can see everything like, together oh, and so we're not in a hurry. <laughs> so there you are. A full flight. There it is. Ta -da! Oh, and my time is here. Nice. We did good this time. Yay. If I make these, I'll have to invite my friends because I don't sh share them with them at all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so like this sort of thing, it looks really nice at the end, but none of that was super complicated or difficult. It's just about taking your time. It's just and you can planning. do all of this stuff basically in steps. So if you're busy, you can make your crepes and then put them aside. You can make your fillings, have them aside. And then when your friends come over, you can just Play it together and enjoy and relax. This is pretty. Thank you. This is oh, so lovely. Thank, thank you. you. These are Emil. 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 <laughs> M M M E L U M I K. Sorry, I can't speak. These are so cute. I'm convinced I have to make crepes now. Yes. Yeah, do it. They're All really right, not as hard as I used to be. Really intimidated by crepes, but I'm over that fear now. Now we will have crepes yes. instantly. Yes. Figment of your imagination says, OMFG, I can't. What a stunning starring meal. Thank you for the tutorial. Oh, you're welcome. welcome. We're so happy that you guys enjoyed Yay. it. Nice, nice, yes, nice. Yes, yes, yes. Let's see. Mise en place, just for the show. Listen, the mise en place was a lot of, a lot of the, the help this time. Mise en place is just having everything prepped and ready to yes. go. So that way you can just work through the like steps everything of things. in place or something? Yep. French, everything in its place. And that way you can just have everything and just add it together. It feels a lot more fun than like scrambling, looking at your recipe, like what's the next thing I have to do? Just it's okay, away. no one knows how to pronounce my user I'm sorry. Oh, no. How do you pronounce it? It's Emil Emil Lumica? Emil Lumica? Emil Lumica? That's what I would think. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Yeah, but so thank you guys for joining us. And we're super happy with how this turned out. And hopefully you guys will take a stab at this and tag us, CJL Treats, tag Bay Area. Yeah, Cake. we hope we really love we really to see, want to see if you guys, guys make these. Or if you, what other kinds of donut shapes or flavors or, or creatures you end up making. Yeah. 
as always, always thank you, Aria. Uh, thank you so much. We're always happy that you guys come back and watch us. We promise that we are trying our best to upgrade and learn every time yeah. so that we can give a better presentation. We'll have three cameras next time. Oh my <laughs> god. Thank y'all for baking. Yeah, of course, of course. Of course. Thank, thank you guys for watching. All right. Okay. I think we have some extra time. If you guys have some questions, go for it. Um, if not, we can cut out early whatever the people decide. Whatever the people decide is our fate. But I am going to stick these bears in the freezer because I can see the back is starting yeah, to melt. Yeah, so slide. I'm going to take these out before you see any Yeah, we're going to watch the next panel and oh, yes, the dare We're going to watch, yeah, Jeb, Jeberty, Jeb Bairdy sure is you know after this at, what, 6 o'clock? Yeah. Yeah. No, sorry. It's time. What is time? 7.30? Seven, no, 7.30. 7 yeah, yeah, sorry. 7.30. My bad. It's after us. <laughs> it's after us. Yeah, so make sure to tune in. Um, I love everything about this. Thank you so much for such an awesome thing. Oh, thank you. I don't know what the, um, I think the next think event is the one in September, right? Yes. Uh, what is it? I think Rico is going to be doing virtual Versailles. It's going to be doing virtual we Versailles, yeah. submit a panel submission and see what happens Yeah, there. so if anyone has a, if there's anything they want to see us make for virtual Versailles, we're going to do definitely something French. Yes. Something yes. French themed. Some, some kind of high French pastry art. Program. We'll see. We'll see if we make some videos or something over the summer. Maybe yeah. we can incorporate yeah. some of that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, this went really, really well. So super satisfied. <laughs> yes, it went. It went. It went swimmingly. Yes. Oh, and um, prepared. All of the recipes and things again are on Bay Area Kids' mm -hmm. uh, website. And they so linked our Instagram and YouTube chat. So be sure to check those, those out if yep. you wish. Yeah. Yeah, 7.30, Jeopardy begins. Nice. nice. So we're looking forward to that. It should be we good. We'll be playing along with our crepes. Yes. 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 And Lillian has, again, graciously linked the recipe in the chat. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I think I'm going to go buy a crepe. Yeah, yeah do it. We can do lots of fun stuff with a crepe. Can. It's great for making, you know, quesadillas, toasting your tortillas. Warming your tortillas. And warming yes. your tortillas. Yeah. You could do one of those, like, weird TikTok sandwich things where they like have the scrambled egg and then they put the bread on top and they like flip it all together. Those, you could get really good. <laughs> yeah. Let's see, what else? What we were thinking of doing something with how to shoe for yeah, virtual Yeah, maybe doing the Claire's or something. A Claire's, we could do one of those like a Claire's. Oh yeah, well, we've done that already. We have a video on that. We just, we haven't we edited it. We yeah. filmed it in January, early, well, De late December, and well, now it's summer. But we will eventually get that editing yeah, we made out a, there. We made a croak and bush, and it's sitting in the, on my laptop. Yes. It exists, but it's a Schrodinger's croak and bush. Schrodinger's croak and bush. Yeah, <laughs> so maybe while uh, the lovely Allegra is away at her Girl Scout job, I will actually get around to editing that. Here's, here's hoping. <laughs> yeah, I understand it. I, I like filming and video and doing the actual baking and stuff. I think it's not fun. That's why it's kind of nice to do this live stuff with you because yeah, we get to interact with you guys and chat and then it's going to be good. Um, yeah, it's really nice to have everyone to chat with everybody. Yeah, it really it's, adds fun. Fun. it's really fun. It's really a lot more cheerful. It's color fun. I like it a lot. Yeah, so this is why we have to become YouTube fans and hire another. <laughs> <laughs> or just get over it and learn how to edit just, faster or ourselves. Or just stop being babies and edit it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, pastel pastry stuff. Did you edit your um, baking and those videos yourself, or did someone help you out with that? I'm curious. Because those always look really nice. They look really good. And I love setup, all the bloopers and things. Those are so fun. Yeah, and your setup is really beautiful. And you're, we're really jealous of your islands that you have. Oh, yes. <laughs> a kitchen with counter space, the most I valuable can, resource of all. I can touch both of our counters with my hand like this, so there's no there's no way an island is going to fit in here. Oh, they say, yeah, I have them all myself. Wow. Thank you. Nice. Skill mastery. Yes, yes. You're yeah. always keeping an eye on people's editing. Yeah. The editing struggle is real, says Elia. Yes. My baby is slipping off. Oh, dear. It's, it's time. It's time. The wig is saying it's, it's time to go. The wig is giving up on me. The editing struggle is good. It's good, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, well, should we, should we head out? Oh, no, it's, it's my kitchen table also. Oh, Not an oh, island. Oh, the secrets. Oh, my oh, God. God. Gee, well, hey, you can, they, here they can fit a whole kitchen table in their kitchen. That's some, like, bougie next level stuff. Like, we could never. Okay. Ha, 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 what space that's going to be in. 
What space? Welcome to California. <laughs> Welcome to California. Where there's no space for anything in the phone still matter. Space. space. Escaping to the last place that hasn't been corrupted by capitalism. Space. Yes. That will be 1.8 mil. Please. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, that's oh, about right. right. Yeah, that's about just a broom right. closet for for yeah a million and a half dollars, and no laundry, no pets allowed. Aria McCall says, "Found a pen. Time to click by. Yay! Yay! Do it. Do we, it. We wish you well it, on your do great it, journey. Do it. We're here to be baking enablists." Malia says, I'm very lucky with my kitchen setup. There's a great pass through mm -hmm. counter where I can put my laptop. Nice. Yeah, you, you, your yours set up. inspired us. And you have a, a really nice kit where you have like counter, like a whole count corner of your kitchen is this countertop. It's yeah. like the layout is amazing. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. We're, 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 we have, we, we have, have a work. We have a workable space. It's the kind of thing where the more countertop space, the more you like expand. And then you're like, I need more countertop space. And you get more. And incrementally just put more stuff on your counter. It's more appliances, you know? Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. Yeah, well, thank you so much for joining us. Again, yeah. make sure to donate to our charities that will be up until Monday, the Monday National Math and Science and Initiative. And, and the Great Food Fund will just be up continuously. Like yeah. Be terrible. Once we can go through our, yeah, and here's our ingredients for our donuts and our recipe. And the grapes. So if you want to watch this video back, you can even just pause and you can pause. find the original yeah, exactly. recipes on the website. Yeah. And I think I put this whole part more together when you <laughs> good, <laughs> yeah, good to know. It's good to know. We can be on just the web Oh yes, yeah, so you can see just us. Oh yeah, nobody could see my stars. Yes. And so that's just my for the camera. I mean, thank you for such a good panel. Thank I will be so dreaming much. of those crepes. Oh, that's good. We always hope to inspire. I've been really into these like the like face tattoos. They're like they're like gold, and you just put them on like fake tattoos with just hot water, and just hold it on for like thirty seconds, and then you peel them off. And now you're sparkly. <laughs> and she has a little star right here too. This one little one that looks a pop. Yeah. All right. One minute left. All about the little details. Right. Yeah, I mean that's the fun, right? It's just yeah. little details for yourself. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much for joining us. We had a really, really fun time. We with had this. a lot of fun. It was. It was a good time. And thank you guys all so much for leaving comments and participating and being so awesome and cheerful. And yeah, I'm really, really excited for the next one. Yeah, that's always a good time. Yeah, make sure to tag us. Hashtag EGL treats. Or, or or message us if you make anything. We really want to see it. Bye. Bye. <laughs> I'm definitely going to have to make these crepes and donuts for my partner when I see her. Into oh, oh yes. yeah, do it. Yes. Yes. Are we? I think we're usually they come on and tell us if we're not. I think, yeah, we're, we're still, still alive. alive. We're still alive. <laughs> Excuse us. Oh my god. <laughs> Thank you for the hearts, Molly. Oh, Molly. Always nice to see you in the chat, Molly. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for coming. <laughs> Turn off the